James, after a slow start to this one, what did it take in the second half to kind of turn things around? He outscored them 37-21 in that third quarter. Orlando's a scrappy team. We knew that. Um, they were going to come out energized, especially after they went against the Knicks. You know, they were rolling a little bit. Um, you know, Coach Moe got them rolling over there. So we knew they were going to come out with confidence. We took that punch and, and we did what we did. We gathered up, you know, and, and played our basketball. Season high in scoring for you. How satisfying is it knowing that, you know, everybody needed to step up with so many guys down. Bruce Brown goes down during the game too. But with your performance, how satisfying was it to contribute the way that you did? Um, whatever it takes for us to win. You know, that's what I'm here for. You know, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it takes. Um, today I was fortunate enough to play and uh, contribute and give my guys some shots. James, how big was the markers for you guys on the stretch? You had those two baskets, the final minute to kind of seal the win. Uh, he he's been doing that forever. Like I like I said, I'm I'm happy he's off my scouting report and on my team now. Man, he's tough. He he been hitting clutch buckets like that his his whole career. And you know the uh, maestro James Harden was was not reluctant to find him during down the stretch and uh, shows a lot of character in his leadership as well. Just what worked for you guys on that 10-0 run towards the end of the second quarter and then into that big third quarter? Uh, just, just believing our defensive schemes and executing it. You know, we wasn't really executing. We wasn't really talking. Like I said, as soon as we buckled down, um, realized that this team was in here for real, then we then we figured it out. James, we, we see what Patty does on the court, but can you just talk about what type of teammate he is off of it? Um, He's he's a good guy, man. For real, he's, he, he's a champion on and off the court, man. So, you know... It, you know, him being a champion says a lot, gets a lot of respect in our locker room. And uh, he's someone everybody looks up, especially our young guys. James, you guys are shorthanded. There's been a lot of talk about how you guys have so many new faces. You're still figuring each other out. It's early in the season. What does it say about this still number one in the East, 12 and five to start this season? Uh, we, we got a lot of scrappy guys. We got a lot of guys who really want to be great in their role. And I think that that's taken us a long way so far. Your, uh, your, your minutes have kind of been, I guess, inconsistent in a way. Just how do you find your role? Or how do you define your role on this team? Like I said, I fill in whatever gap. You know, like I, if coach wants me in for five minutes, I'm going to play as hard as I can for that five. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm here to serve and to try to win a championship. Uh, when you went into the locker room at halftime, you, you had had a little spurt there right before halftime. What did you guys talk about, and how did you change things around? Uh, we we kind of knew what kind of defense they was giving us. You know, it, it wasn't a steady diet of it, but it was the ratio was probably three to four out of every three or four times, or four times they went under three, or they zoned three times. So, you know, like I said, James is a maestro out there. As soon as he figured that out, you can't give a guy like that a steady diet of anything. Thank you. Appreciate it.